Stop. Don't skip because there's some serious talk happening behind the scenes and it's all about you, specifically regarding your eyes. Two people are deep in conversation and trust me, it's not your typical small talk and guess what it's all about? There's an intriguing aura surrounding you, they can't look at you because of your eyes that's sparking conversations. Stick around because it's about to unveil the secrets lingering in the air and it's bound to leave you intrigued and guessing. Your eyes has become the subject of conversation, complete with unexpected twists, turns, and a hint of mystery that will captivate you from beginning to end. The tongue may hide the truth, but the eyes never. Says the father, is this true about you? Today, God has a message concerning your eyes, an upcoming challenge that awaits you. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind, our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? A cosmic message has reached you. Two people engaged in conversation are enthusiastically praising your eyes are making them fall for you more deeply. They are completely entranced by the brilliance of your character, eagerly endeavoring to decipher the enigma behind your captivating presence. Your remarkable qualities, such as a steadfast mindset, ambitious demeanor, and inherent leadership abilities distinguish you from the rest. Additionally, your eyes enhances the charm that envelopes you. It's not merely your physical appearance that captures their attention. Your resolute and purposeful attitude is what leaves a lasting impact. Your distinctive approach of pushing boundaries implies that with commitment, anything is possible. Your demeanor serves as a source of motivation for those in your circle. Your steadfast commitment to achievement, combined with an optimistic outlook, positions you as a guiding light of inspiration. The allure you exude is not happenstance. It mirrors your inner assurance and conviction. You inherently possess leadership traits and others seek your guidance and encouragement. The universe is showering you with its brilliance, offering blessings and pathways to success in every aspect of life. Your mesmerizing eyes effortlessly opens doors and attracts favorable situations to you. By maintaining confidence and determination, you align with the universe, paving the way for accomplishment and fulfillment. Your irresistible charm and captivating eyes naturally attract those fascinated by your accomplishments, your vibrant approach to life, and your ability to conquer any challenge you set your mind to. The universe encourages you to recognize your strengths and embrace your uniqueness. Instead of hiding your innate leadership qualities and ambitious drive, allow them to shine and inspire those around you. Your gift for leading by example and overcoming hurdles has the potential to uplift others. As the cosmos continues to shower its brilliance upon you, stay true to yourself and resolute in your endeavors. The captivating power of your eyes lies in their ability to awaken dormant emotions within them. Your gaze effortlessly penetrates the deepest recess of their hearts, unlocking a flood of admiration and adoration. The connection formed through the entwining of gazes is one that transcends conventional understanding, paving the way for a profound and lasting bond. God is telling you that the intensity of their emotions becomes overwhelming. Each stolen glance becomes an intoxicating elixir fueling their feelings for you and leaving them yearning for more. Their emotions are becoming magnified in the presence of the beloved. Each interaction, each stolen glance can deeper the connection and kindle a flame that burns with ever-increasing intensity. God is making you aware of the fact that it is a testament to the power your eyes hold over the hearts of others. You must understand that this unique enchantment is a catalyst for genuine connections and profound relationships. God is letting you know that now their sentiments are overflowing and they are prepared to propose to you. They are moving to bring joy and make you feel truly cherished. 
God is telling you that when someone's emotions reach a point where they can no longer be contained, it reflects the strength and intensity of their feelings. God is letting you know that love in its purest form can be transformative for us capable of altering the course of your life. God has given you an opportunity to explore a profound bond that can transcend the ordinary. The universe is guiding you to embrace your inner strength and seize the opportunities unfolding before you. Attracting positive energy and favorable circumstances isn't about achieving perfection. It's about embracing your uniqueness and staying true to your core values. When you have confidence in yourself and your abilities, the cosmos responds by revealing new paths and opportunities for success. Its radiant energy acts as a guiding light, illuminating the immense potential and impact you possess. Embrace the allure of your appearance, reflecting the extraordinary individual that you are. Let your optimistic energy radiate, drawing towards you the abundance that life has in store. As you grow and evolve, the universe stands by you, offering guidance and support every step of the way. Greatness awaits you, and the universe is paving the path for you to reach it. Trust in the journey ahead and have faith in your abilities as the universe aligns to shower you with its radiance and blessings. Life is a continuous journey of growth and development, presenting daily opportunities for learning, growth, and self-improvement. Acknowledge your efforts, knowing that the universe stands with you, providing unwavering support and encouragement along your journey. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, celestial messengers convey a profound message tailored specifically to you. At the core of this ethereal communication lies the theme of wealth and abundance. The angels are filled with anticipation as they share whispers of an impending plan to shower you with blessings of prosperity. You, dear soul, are intricately woven into the fabric of financial abundance as divine forces collaborate to elevate your material well-being. The cosmic alignments are in your favor, heralding a period of abundance that transcends your current understanding. Feel the electrifying atmosphere surrounding you, resonating with cosmic vibrations heralding the imminent arrival of prosperity. Celestial beings orchestrate a symphony of riches that will echo through every fiber of your being. In the boundless expanse of the universe, celestial messengers convey a profound message directly to you. At the outset of this ethereal discourse, the central theme revolves around prosperity and abundance. The angels are brimming with anticipation as they share murmurs of an imminent plan to shower you with blessings of wealth. You, cherished soul, are intricately woven into the fabric of financial abundance as divine forces collaborate to enhance your material prosperity. The cosmic alignments are in your favor, indicating a period of abundance beyond your current comprehension. Sense the charged atmosphere enveloping you, resonating with cosmic vibrations heralding your forthcoming prosperity. Celestial beings are orchestrating a symphony of riches that will reverberate through the very essence of your being. The focus isn't on your physical presence, but rather the energy you radiate into the universe, the essence of your soul lingering in the divine realm. The angels are deeply engrossed in discussions about how your energy, your essence, leaves a lasting impression on the cosmos. Your actions, thoughts, and intentions collectively form an energetic signature that celestial forces perceive, akin to a fragrant trail wafting through the spiritual realm. The angels meticulously observe the nuances of this ethereal essence, adding depth to the cosmic dialogue while also cautioning you about its potential implications. While they commend the positive vibrations you emit, there's a subtle warning about the importance of discernment. It appears that someone in the celestial realms may not be interpreting your energy with pure intentions. There's a presence seeking to influence the narrative of your energetic essence. As the angels convey this aspect of the message, it's crucial to understand that it's not a cause for fear, but a call for heightened awareness. 
Your energy is a precious asset in the cosmic dance, and the angels urge you to safeguard it with conscious intent. Be mindful of the energies you allow into your space, as they can shape the appearance of your soul in ways you may not fully grasp. Imagine this cosmic dialogue as a live transmission to your soul. The angels are addressing you directly, unraveling the mysteries of the unseen realms with a message that transcends time and space. Can you feel the resonance of their words vibrating through your being? As you absorb this celestial discourse, let the realization sink in, you are not alone in this journey. The angels, your celestial companions, watch over you with profound care and concern. They are intricately woven into the fabric of your existence, guiding you towards prosperity and offering subtle warnings to safeguard your energetic aura. Take a moment to pause and breathe in the cosmic essence, allowing the vibrations of this celestial dialogue to resonate within you. This connection is sacred, a divine exchange between the earthly and the celestial, between you and the guardian angels overseeing your journey. It goes beyond mere communication. It's a cosmic transmission crafted to elevate your awareness and guide you toward alignment with the divine path. As you navigate through the currents of abundance and the currents of caution, recognize your role as a co-creator in this cosmic symphony. Your thoughts, actions, and intentions shape the unfolding narrative of your journey. Embrace the forthcoming blessings with gratitude and proceed with mindfulness, knowing that celestial companions accompany you every step of the way. You are cherished by the universe, an esteemed member of the cosmic family, and your presence brings joy to the celestial orchestra of existence. If these words have stirred something within you, feel free to share your reflections below. Let this space become a sanctuary of collective wisdom, where fellow travelers on the cosmic journey can offer support and encouragement to one another. Your words, like cosmic melodies, have the power to resonate with those navigating their own paths. Today, God is assuring you that significant blessings are about to enter your life. These blessings are a direct result of your unwavering faith, perseverance, kindness, and steadfast commitment over time. Your dedication and patience are ready to yield abundant fruit. All the pieces are coming together to reveal a divine plan unfolding before you. If you believe that the next three days will bring a flood of blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs beyond your imagination, show your faith by typing 777. Prepare yourself for a supernatural transformation in every aspect of your life, from your career and finances to your well-being and relationships. Get ready for unexpected blessings and an overflow of love and abundance in all areas of your life. Jesus proclaims, I have opened a door for you that no one can shut and nothing can hinder the divine plan set in motion for your life. Today, your Heavenly Father desires to weave a tale depicting how your eyes possess a mystical power that renders others helpless, causing them to fall deeply for you with each glance into the fabric of your life's journey. In the ancient land of Canaan, there lived a man named Jacob whose eyes possessed a mystical allure that captivated those around him. Jacob was known throughout the land for his striking gaze, which seemed to hold a depth of wisdom and kindness that drew people to him like moths to a flame. Jacob's captivating eyes caught the attention of a wealthy merchant named Laban, who offered Jacob his daughter Rachel in marriage. Rachel was as beautiful as she was kind-hearted, and Jacob fell deeply in love with her from the moment he set eyes on her. Laban agreed to give Rachel to Jacob in marriage, but only if Jacob worked for him for seven years as payment for her hand. Jacob agreed to Laban's terms, and for seven years he toiled diligently for his beloved Rachel. But when the time came for their wedding, Laban deceived Jacob by giving him Rachel's older sister, Leah, instead. Jacob was devastated, but Laban offered Rachel to him as well, on the condition that Jacob work for him for another seven years. 
Despite the deceit and hardship he faced, Jacob's love for Rachel never wavered. He agreed to Laban's terms and worked faithfully for another seven years to finally marry Rachel. Throughout their years together, Jacob's unwavering love for Rachel remained constant, and their bond grew stronger with each passing day. The moral of this biblical story is that true love is worth waiting for and persevering through challenges. Jacob's enduring love for Rachel, despite the trials he faced, serves as a testament to the power of love and devotion. God is conveying a message to you today, revealing that someone finds themselves unable to resist the allure of your gaze. Each time they look into your eyes, they are drawn deeper into affection and enchantment. Your eyes possess a captivating power that renders them powerless to resist falling more deeply in love with you. This mystical quality evokes profound emotions, making it difficult for them to tear their gaze away. Your eyes hold a magnetic charm that ensnares their heart, evoking a sense of ethereal beauty and fascination. It's as if a cosmic force is at play, drawing them into a realm where love and desire intertwine in enchantment. It's essential to recognize that beauty is subjective and varies from person to person, much like appreciating diverse forms of art. Just as individuals have different preferences for colors and styles, they also have varied perceptions of physical appearance. Your angels remind you to prioritize your own feelings about yourself rather than seeking validation from others. True beauty emanates from within, rooted in self-love, compassion, and inner radiance. When you exude positivity and confidence, you naturally attract others with your authentic energy. Additionally, it's important to understand that people's opinions are shaped by their own beliefs, experiences, and insecurities. Instead of internalizing negative comments about your appearance, approach them with compassion and understanding, recognizing that others may be on their own journey of self-discovery. In moments of hurt or offense, turn to your guardian angels who are always present to offer love, guidance, and protection. They can empower you to rise above negativity and embrace your true essence. Remember, your worth is not defined by anyone else's opinions, but by your own self-perception. Embrace your uniqueness, embracing both your strengths and imperfections as they contribute to your individuality. Your angels encourage you to let your inner beauty shine through acts of love, kindness, and authenticity. Surround yourself with individuals who uplift and support you for who you are, both inside and out. Seek companions who appreciate your genuine beauty and encourage you to embrace your true self. Engage in regular self-care practices to nurture your body, mind, and soul, enhancing both your physical appearance and inner peace. If negative comments about your appearance impact your self-esteem, consider seeking guidance from a therapist or counselor who can help you build resilience and cope with criticism in healthy ways. Trust in the wisdom and guidance of your guardian angels as you embrace your true essence and radiate your light in the world. Remember, you are a unique and beautiful creation deserving of love, kindness, and inner beauty. As for the Father's message, he challenges you to acknowledge and celebrate his abundant goodness in your life. His goodness surpasses human comprehension, and there are no words sufficient to describe the blessings He has in store for you. Let expressions like exceedingly, abundantly, and more than you could ask or think be on your lips as you anticipate the goodness He has prepared for you. Know that God is faithful and unchanging in His promises. Rejoice and celebrate, for He is demonstrating His love and blessings in your life each day. My child, if I should ask you, are you walking in faith? Are you walking by sight? How would you answer that? Do you walk according my will, purpose and plan? Or are you just walking, trusting and hoping things will turn out? I want you to walk, trusting me for every single thing. And that is, walk by faith. You either walk by faith or by sight. Sometime you've got to see it to believe it, and you have such moments in your life. 
Your decisions really matter. When you want to hear my voice, or receive some definite sign from me regarding a relationship, perhaps a pending marriage, a business decision, a career choice, or a major expenditure, you know your decisions really matter. You make decisions, your decisions turn around and make you, and you face so many questions throughout all of your lifetime. Like, how about should I get married? If the answer is yes, who should I marry? Should I go to college? I've got a good job. Shall I take the new job? Should I just hold on to the one I have? Is there any way to be 100% certain about my will when you're making a major choice in life or a college? But remember, you walk by faith, not by sight. You walk by faith. And I want to say to you, you are not going to get 100% assurance and confidence before you make a choice because it would require zero faith. You pray about it, you wait on me, and then you make our choice. You believe what you don't see. That's what faith is. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Once you see, then you don't need faith anymore. Faith means you have it in your heart before you have it in your circumstance. But it really can be just as good as having it if you really trust and believe me. You have to take the plunge. You have to make the choice. Go ahead and make the best decision you can make. And when you've done that, leave the results to me because my purpose will stand. And if yours are not, I will correct it. I will redeem it and I will still keep you on the right path to your future destiny and will not forsake you. I want you to know my will more than you want to know it. One of the reasons that people live out of the divine will is they're not willing to take the first step. I hear people tell this all the time. Well, God doesn't speak to me. Yes, I does. You may not be listening, but I do. I don't play favorites. I love you all, but sometimes I'll require of you something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If you're going to follow the Lord, you've got to be willing to listen to me and you've got to be willing to trust me when you don't understand it. You may have some things you don't understand, you can't figure out, you don't see the answer. That's okay, you don't have to see it. This is a key to faith, trusting when you don't understand, trusting when you don't have the answers, trusting when it seems like just the opposite of what you were hoping for. Quit worrying about those things you can't figure out. I have you in the palm of my hand, you may not know how this is going to work out, but you do know who's on the throne. You do know who's directing your steps. You do know who's planned out your days. Before you were ever born, I've pondered plans I had for you before. There was even a single day to your existence, and I established your purpose before you were ever created in your mother's womb. They were actually recorded or written in my book. I have plans for you. I have some plans plural ones. I know the plans I have for you. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and to give you a hope. So, I have great plans for you. I promise that my plans for your destiny are only good ones. No disasters are planned for you. I haven't written down on this occasion when they're 35, 40 years old. I'm going to get them. None of that. You are not God. That, no, my plans are only good and they're only filled with grace and hope. You're not God, I am. It is really comforting to know. You know there is a God and it isn't me. And that's why you must hanging on to me and trust me. What happens is that you forget that I am in control of the life I gave you. You do want to make good choices, but you're a limited human being. You can't see the future but I can. You've got scripture, you've got prayer, you've got wise people, and then you've got a peace in your heart. And at the end of the day, you have to trust me, and you have to believe regardless of what happens. You don't have to obsess, hyperventilate, or control everyone and everything around you. You don't have to worry about the minutia, the little miniature things of life. You can have confidence that your father is going to take care of everything, 
You know you can sleep well once you realize I'm in control of your life. You must know no human being energized by Satan, not even Satan himself, can stop my purpose for your life or mine. Even if you trust me and make a mistake, if you genuinely make a mistake, I have the most awesome ways of correcting that mistake. I know your heart. I know you're willing to do or what I requires of you. But the question is, are you listening? And secondly, are you trusting that whatever I say for you to do, that you're to do? Remember Abraham, he made some wrong choices, but I didn't stop blessing him. I didn't cast him aside. I knew that my finest children would make mistakes. They would sin against me. They would disobey me because living in the world in which you live in, that you make mistakes, the times of weakness, the times of failure, and I forgive, and I keep moving you. I can put you exactly where I want you to be. I can arrange all the details of your life years in advance. I can open doors that seem shut tight. I can remove any obstacle that stands in your way. I can take your choices and fit them into my plan so you end up at the right place at the right time. I can even take your mistakes and bring good out of them. Don't forget, I'm your redeemer. I redeems things. I can take tragedy, use it for your good and my glory. All I need is a willing heart, just someone to reasonably cooperate. This doesn't mean you won't have to make difficult and hard choices. You will, but it takes the pressure off because it means you can trust me to take your decisions, your choices, and use them to accomplish my will in your life. As the creator of the cosmos, the Alpha and Omega, I address you today with a solemnity that resonates through the eons. Open your hearts, for I unveil a truth that transcends the boundaries of time and space, a truth that has echoed from the celestial realms to the very core of your earthly existence. In the beginning, in the celestial tapestry of eternity, a sin emerged, an insidious serpent that coiled around the pristine sanctity of the heavens. It was the sin of pride, the very arrogance that caused the archangel Lucifer to ascend in rebellion, uttering the defiant refrain, I will, I will, I will, I will, away away, we will ring through the celestial halls. The cosmic rebellion birthed a war in the heavens, where the legions of angels clashed amidst the divine firmament. The same sin that cast Lucifer and his cohorts into the abyss found its insidious counterpart within the realms of mortals, the sin of pride descending like a shadow, weaving its treacherous threads through the fabric of humanity. My children, hear me as I utter the stark truth. Pride, the original sin, has permeated the earthly realm. As I look upon the vast expanse of your world, I witness the echoes of celestial rebellion mirrored in the pride that courses through your veins. Lucifer, the fallen one, desired to be like me, rejecting worship for the thirst of self-exaltation. And now, within your earthly abode, pride stands as the harbinger of all vices, the mother of sins, as C. Lewis aptly states, it breeds rebellion, nurtures disobedience, and blinds mortals to the fragility of their existence. Pride, a grotesque stain on the canvas of creation, disrupts the harmony of the cosmos and mars the purity of the human spirit. In Proverbs, I declare with unwavering clarity, these things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. At the pinnacle of this divine list stands the abhorrence of a proud look, a look that declares autonomy, a look that denies the Creator his rightful place. My children, know this, I do not despise you. I detest the sin that wraps itself around your hearts. Pride, the venomous serpent, creeps into your thoughts, actions, and aspirations. It breeds destruction, for all rebellion, all defiance, emanates from the seedbed of pride. The solemn truth resonates through the words of James. God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Yet, the grip of pride is relentless and its eradication demands a surrender beyond mortal capability. Humility, my children, is the only antidote and acknowledgement of your dependence on me. An admission that without me, 
you are as dust scattered by the winds of arrogance. Pride is a fortress that imprisons the soul, making it impervious to the cries of humility. Yet, I extend an offer, an invitation to cast aside the shackles of pride and clothe yourselves in the garment of humility. As you pray, acknowledge your need for me, submit your burdens and surrender your desires to the sovereignty of my will. Every prayer uttered is a testament to your recognition of dependence, a declaration that in the grand tapestry of existence, you are but a vessel in need of divine guidance. Humility is the key that unlocks the gates to my grace, allowing me to lift you from the depths of self-centeredness to the exalted heights of divine purpose. But beware, my children, for the seductive nature of pride lurks in the shadows, making you comfortable with its presence. Daily, in the humility of prayer, declare, deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Acknowledge that your significance is not found in self-exaltation, but in being a servant, mirroring the very essence of my Son, who came not to be served, but to serve. I implore you to heed the words of James, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Your significance lies not in titles or positions, but in the knowledge that you are mine, a servant in my eternal kingdom. In the hallowed silence that follows this divine discourse, let the echoes of humility resonate through the chambers of your hearts, for in humility you shall find refuge from the storms of pride, and in surrender you shall discover the exalted grace that lifts you to heights unimaginable. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, you will overcome and all will witness that I am with you. Your blessing is on its way and nothing shall hinder it. Soon you shall receive the answer you seek. Your needs shall be met and your health restored. The one you love will return to your life. I'm telling you this to fill you with courage. Let your joy begin today, for people and loved ones will come seeking you. I want them to see your joyful and rejuvenated face. Let your smile impact them, and let them witness the wonderful blessing I'm about to bestow upon you. My word has been given, and abundance is declared. I do not lie, and what I promise I shall fulfill without fail. Always remember this to keep anxiety and worry at bay. I myself will put an end to your suffering, for your time has come. Days of happiness and delightful moments are on the horizon, and you must cherish them. Do not fear, my child. Do not cry and do not despair. Believe in me, for I am the God speaking to you today. Believe it with all your soul, for I hear your pleas. Feel the beat of your humble heart and your prayers resonate in my throne. The gates of my grace open for you and I shall pour my blessings and favor upon you. My presence dwells with those of simple faith, with those of humble hearts and with all who sincerely and earnestly invoke my name. Always remember that you can trust in my power and my faithfulness. I will never forsake you, nor will I forget you as the years pass. When enemies and troubles assail you, or when you feel weak, needy and unwell, I am with you at all times. I repeat this to you always so that you do not forget. I long for you to seek me every day, to remember my words, for I have the power to deliver you. When I say it every day, it is because I will truly do it, and I want you to have faith, to go to sleep in peace, and to wake up in the morning with a joyful spirit, and the confidence that my promise is unbreakable. I do not lie, I love you, and I will always bless you. So it was, so it is, and so it shall be. Tell me now that you believe. I want to see in your words, your strength and happiness. You are on the verge of receiving that long-awaited blessing 
and that's why the enemy has come with all their fury, trying to pull you away from my side. If things are not going as you expected, it's not a reason to become angry and throw in the towel. Today, I understand how you feel. Look at me and we will sort things out. Do not distance yourself from me. Do not hide. How could you ever think that I am not real? Where did you get the idea that I cannot love you? Why do you underestimate yourself so much? No trial or difficulty in your life escapes my notice today. I am not pacing before the throne, wondering what I will do with you or how to bring you through. You really are not that great a challenge, says the father. You didn't actually think I would be intimidated or daunted by the mountains standing in your way, did you? I am the God of the universe, and I live inside you. Do not allow the enemy to make you think or lead you to believe that what you are enduring is somehow unique or in some way worse than what any other person may be facing. That is self-pity and self-absorption, seeking to get your eyes off of my faithfulness. In my earth walk, I endured and was touched by what you are feeling right now. I suffered and I did not sin so that you could withstand likewise and remain in obedience to the heavenly vision of all that I have promised. Look in expectation to what I am about to do on your behalf. I always come through on time and on target to address what pains you most and hold you captive. I am releasing you from your captivity this day. This is heaven come to earth time for you today. This is the hour that changes the world and the hour that changes your world. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and dance in advance. Go ahead and rejoice. I will be found faithful in your life. You will look back and see and look back and declare what else could have possibly gone right. This is not fantasy. This is not an incredulous, unlikely possibility. This is the rock-solid affirmation of my word and my promise that endures forever and puts you over in every circumstance. You are not a victim. You are a principality and a power, wearing this day the very crown that you will one day lay at my feet in triumph. You've made me weep with your thoughts. I also have a heart that feels. Indeed, I love you. I don't want you to ever leave my side. When you were sunk in depression and despair, when you thought your final day had come, it wasn't you who sought me first. I came to where you were and took you in my arms with so much affection. Cleanse your soul and your heart, for I've forgiven all your faults. I comforted you, healed you and stood you up. You walked once more, you were reborn. Pay attention now, for at this moment, you will understand that my promise is firm, unbreakable. No one can snatch you from my hand. My love is eternal. If you are filled with doubts, it's because you're believing in someone else. But look, let's forget about that. Come into my arms now. You're making me cry too. You move me so much when I see you running towards me. Life is like this. Struggles will come, doubts may persist, but they are like birds circling your head. And if you're not careful, they will enter and build nests in your mind, filling your thoughts with confusion, disconnecting you from my love, making you forget the beautiful moments you've experienced by my side, causing you to focus only on the hardships you faced. Do not allow these thoughts to enter. Reject the ideas of death that the enemy wants to plant. Let me remove those doubts from your mind. You will come out of the sadness you feel right now. I am writing my name on your heart, so you will never forget or doubt that all my love is yours. I will not fail you. I give you my word. Even if the world turns against you 
and you look everywhere without finding a helping hand, no matter what happens, I will stay by your side. I will protect your family. I will protect you and the blessings and gifts I have sent you. But tell me now, what will you do on your part? Will you trust and hold fast to my word, regardless of what you see or feel? I assure you, and I repeat, I will not fail you. I declare this solemnly, my promises are not in vain. So walk hand in hand with me, with a tranquil heart, in peace and confidence. My covenant with you will be forever unbreakable. I know that the busyness of life sometimes leads you to set me aside. That's why I ask you that, when the silence comes and the noise fades, and you find yourself free and available to talk with me, a minute in my presence is better than a thousand hours in this world of pain. Come, for I will be there to listen to your prayers. Remember, you can find the peace your spirit longs for through your beautiful and tender faith in my word. You already know that if I say it, I will do it. If it is written, my promises are more solid and powerful than anything else in this world. You love me. You give me your heart, you feed on my word, and you believe with all your soul. I am pleased with your attitude and your dedication. There I will reward you. I am giving you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, upon burning coals, and any path filled with thorns of pain. You have the gift to shut the mouths of lions and to stop the destroyer's devastation. You do not need much noise or exaggerated shouting for my power to manifest. Your simple faith, your grateful soul, your obedient attitude, and your brave warrior's gaze are sufficient. The enemy is not frightened when people raise their voices and declare my word, but they do it without faith. They speak and shout, claim to love me, but of their gatherings, they point fingers, judge and criticize, and thus no miracle can I perform. I have chosen to use you and work miracles through your lips and your hands. Let nothing deter you, do not cower in the face of any obstacle. In my love and power you will leap over walls and overcome the evil armies. In those days when loneliness envelops you and tears become your solace, Come to me. I understand your suffering, sadness and desolation. You do not need to explain anything, just cry out my name and I will lighten your burdens. I know how much love and attention you have given and how little has been received in return. They lied to you, betrayed you, did not consider your efforts and did not value you. Know that I have seen everything you have been through and I understand you perfectly. I understand what you feel and what you have had to endure to reach this point. I have always been, am and will be with you. But from today onward, your faith is reborn and your eyes open to a new life where you finally feel and believe in my love. This is my promise. Give me your life and your heart and I will be with you to love and heal your pain. I will be your shield in every battle, surround you with my affection and give you unshakable peace to strengthen your soul. If you fall, you will rise. If you become discouraged, I will infuse your spirit with strength. No one and nothing can sow fear in your mind. Let no accusations or lies disturb you. Do not allow ill-intentioned people to see you fall. Trust only in me, for I know your noble heart, and you will see how your enemies flee in terror. You will witness your life filling with peace, wisdom, prosperity, health, and holy joy, thanks to the blessings that come from above, covering you completely. By my side, all your dreams will be possible, you will feel my presence within you, and you will never be the same person again.
Everyone around you will notice the joy and peace radiating from your face. Come tomorrow, rise early, pay attention, and very clearly, you will hear my voice, reminding you that I will never fail you, for I love you with all my heart, whether you are doing well or facing challenges. I am sending you this message of tranquility because I heard you say today that you needed peace. I am breathing divine strength into your soul and you can feel the serenity filling you at this very moment. Just open your lips in a prayer of gratitude. This is the most beautiful prayer you can offer. Do not feel bad. I hear you perfectly. My response was sent before you even called. But I want you to exercise your faith, not always relying on your strength, even though you are very intelligent. Do not make yourself dependent solely on your prudence. Be wise and humble, for you do not know everything. Dangers and snares lurk in the darkness around you, like a roaring lion in the spiritual world. Pay attention, take it seriously. I hope you understand me well. When you come to listen to me, you will feel my Holy Spirit embracing you, and I will not let you go until I sense your heart calming down. I will not allow you to walk the paths of life filled with fear and despair. I will knock on the door of your soul every morning, for I want you to rise early when everyone in your house is asleep. There, in your room, on your knees, in silence, Start your day with active faith. Come with confidence. I am waiting for you with open arms. Leave your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, may love and transformation fill your days. Join me in this prayer for the Lord to transform our characters. One of the most crucial prayers we can utter is Lord, set a watch on our mouths. Lord's vigilant oversight of our speech holds paramount significance in our life. A primary aspect the Lord focuses on in our character transformation is our tongue, what we say, confess, and so with our words. The power of our words cannot be underestimated. While an old nursery rhyme claims that sticks and stones may break bones, but words will never hurt, this is far from the truth. Words possess the potential to either wound or heal. They are never neutral. We have the ability to speak life, causing things to flourish or speak death, resulting in decay. This concept is vividly illustrated in Jesus' cursing of the fig tree upon his next passing, it had withered. Our words, created in God's image, hold the same impactful ability as his. God's words never return void but always fulfill their intended purpose. Remarkably, our words carry a similar impact. They can be used to bring life or to bring death. The words Jesus speaks are spirit and life, infusing vitality into our bodies, souls, and spirits. Consider the radical implications. You can speak Jesus' words and raise the dead. Bring life and healing to broken hearts and lives and even use his creative words to bring forth favorable circumstances, healing, or promotion. Continually seek his guidance to refrain from sinning through your words, desiring to emulate Jesus in speaking words that bring life and spirit. The reality is, we can create our reality through words of faith, understanding that while faith without works is dead, speaking words of faith and putting that faith into action yields fruitful results. The Bible aptly notes that death and life reside in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. While obedience is an integral part of experiencing God's blessings, speaking words of life is a crucial component of faith. Our challenge is to pray, Lord, set a watch on my mouth. Seeking his help daily, we must practice speaking words of life and faith, replacing any curses, words of death, doubt, or unbelief with words of life. Do you desire this transformative power in your life? 
If so, let's unite in prayer right now and commit to daily seeking the Lord's watch over our mouths. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, I come before you with a heart overflowing with gratitude. Thank you for the breath of life, for the privilege of communion with you in prayer, and for the assurance that you hear and respond to every plea from the depths of my soul. Your words are a symphony of hope, a melody that brings life to the core of my being. I am enveloped in the warmth of your Holy Spirit, and for this, I am eternally thankful. Abba Father, your goodness knows no bounds, and your mercy is an unending river that flows through the tapestry of my life. Today, I receive this mercy as a divine gift, a manifestation of your love that leads me onto the paths of life. Your word is a lamp onto my feet and a light onto my path instructing and teaching me in the way I should go. I am attentive to your voice, O Lord, for it is the compass that guides me with a watchful eye upon me. As I stand in your presence, I open my heart to receive your divine guidance. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Your words are my anchor, grounding me in the truth that transcends earthly understanding. With reverence and anticipation, I place my trust in your wisdom and surrender my plans to your sovereign will. May the symphony of your words continue to resonate in my spirit, leading me along the paths of righteousness. I am eternally grateful for the privilege of hearing your voice, for in it I find direction, comfort, and the assurance that I am never alone. Thank you, Father, for the beautiful exchange of words that transpires between our spirits. May my ears be attuned to your voice, and may my steps align with the glorious paths of life you have laid out before me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Gracious Lord, in the humble sincerity of my heart, I come before you seeking forgiveness for the times I have allowed words of death, doubt, and unbelief to escape my lips. I acknowledge the weight of my transgressions and the divergence of my words from the truth that reflects your character. Today, I lay bare my shortcomings and repent for every instance where my speech did not align with your perfect word. Lord, I confess that any words contrary to your truth were, in essence, a departure from your divine guidance and an act of rebellion. I ask for your mercy and forgiveness, recognizing that in these moments, I have sinned against you. I am grateful for the promise of forgiveness through the cleansing power of the precious blood of Jesus. Wash over me with the redeeming flow of that precious blood, covering every stain and blot of sin in my words and deeds. Fill me, O Lord, with the refreshing and renewing waters of your Holy Spirit. Let your Spirit dwell within me, transforming the places where I spoke words that fell short of your glory. May your Spirit guide my thoughts and guard my tongue, ensuring that the words that flow from my mouth align with your truth and reflect the light of your love. I surrender to your loving correction and invite your Spirit to cultivate a heart that mirrors your own. Mold me into a vessel that speaks life, faith and encouragement, glorifying your name in every utterance. I receive your forgiveness with gratitude trusting in your faithfulness to cleanse me and empower me to walk in obedience. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Heavenly Father, with a heart surrendered to your grace, I come before you with a fervent desire to align my speech with your divine language. By your mercy and empowerment, I choose to echo the words of life that flow from your lips. I purposefully decide to speak in a manner that reflects your spirit and imparts life to the circumstances around me. Lord, I am captivated by the vision of creating a reality with my words that mirrors the heavenly blueprint you designed for me before the foundations of the world were laid. I long to speak words of faith, hope, and love, constructing a life that resonates with the melodies of heaven. By your grace, I commit to building the foundation of my existence upon the unshakable rock of your word. 
spoken with conviction and manifested in the fabric of my reality. Father, I boldly declare my intent to aggressively pursue a life that mirrors the divine order of your kingdom. May my words be a creative force, bringing forth the blessings and purposes you have ordained for my journey. As I speak in alignment with your will, let my life become a living testimony to your glory, reflecting the beauty of heaven on earth. Grant me the strength and wisdom to uphold this commitment daily, leaning on your spirit for guidance. May every word uttered be a reflection of your truth and an instrument of transformation. I surrender my speech, my thoughts, and my life into your hands, trusting that, through your grace, I will speak words that shape a reality infused with the essence of heaven. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I humbly approach your throne, seeking your divine intervention over my speech. I earnestly request that you, by your grace, set a vigilant watch over my mouth. Lord, I surrender my words to you and ask that you fill my mouth with your divine utterances. Let every word I speak be in alignment with the oracles of God, reflecting your wisdom, truth, and love. Father, I recognize the potency of my tongue, and I implore you to guide me in using it solely for edification and encouragement. May my speech be a manifestation of your word, a source of life and inspiration to those around me. I willingly yield my voice to be an instrument of your grace, echoing the beauty of your character. Moreover, Lord, I acknowledge my human frailty and the propensity to speak words that may not align with your perfect will. In those moments, I beseech you, in the name of Jesus, to intervene. If ever I am tempted to release words that stray from your truth, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Physically immobilize my tongue if it is inclined to utter anything contrary to your word. I desire, Lord, to be a vessel of your light and a conduit of your love through my speech. I submit my tongue to your authority, asking for your divine governance over every word that proceeds from my mouth. May my speech be a reflection of your grace, and may it glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Heavenly Father, in this sacred moment of communion, I humbly seek your guidance and grace. I acknowledge that, without your sustaining grace, my journey towards a holy and sin-free life would be impossible. It is your divine empowerment that allows me to navigate the complexities of daily living, and for that, I am profoundly grateful. As I embark on the endeavor to hide your word in my heart, I recognize the profound significance of cultivating a deep reservoir of your truth. I desire to be saturated with your wisdom, that it may shape my thoughts, influence my words, and direct my actions. Grant me, Lord, the richness of vocabulary to articulate your life-giving words in every circumstance, allowing your transformative power to flow through me like a mighty river. Father, I place before you the sincere request to quicken and awaken my conscience. In moments where I may falter or inadvertently speak words of death, I trust your Holy Spirit to alert me immediately. Strengthen my resolve to renounce those words, turning away from any darkness that may seek entry into my heart. Teach me, O Lord, to replace those moments with your truth, allowing your light to dispel any shadows. I implore you to set a watch on my mouth, not merely as a form of self-discipline, but as a divine orchestration for your glory. May every word that escapes my lips be a testament to your majesty, a reflection of your love, and an expression of ceaseless praise. Use me, Father, as a creative force on this earth, a vessel through which heaven's beauty is released into the world. Thank you, Abba Father, for your unwavering love, boundless grace, and transformative power. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. Almighty and gracious Father, as I come into your divine presence, 
I am profoundly aware of the significance of my words in shaping the tapestry of my life and the lives of those around me. I approach your throne with humility, recognizing that the tongue holds the power of life and death. In light of this, I earnestly implore you, Lord, to set a watch on my mouth. In the ebb and flow of daily interactions, I am mindful of the delicate nature of communication. My heart's desire is to be a conduit of your love, grace, and wisdom in every conversation. I acknowledge that, left to my own devices, my words may fall short of glorifying you. Thus, I entrust the governance of my speech to your unfailing wisdom. O Lord, stand as a sentinel over my words, allowing only that which aligns with your truth and love to pass through. Cloak me with your spirit, that I may speak with kindness, compassion, and the discernment that comes only from walking in step with you. May the essence of my conversations mirror your character, becoming a testimony to your boundless grace. Grant me, Heavenly Father, the discernment to recognize when my words may deviate from your perfect will. In those moments, let your Holy Spirit gently guide me back to the path of righteousness. I surrender my impulses, my desires for self-expression, and my inclination towards haste to your refining hand. As I make this earnest request, I am acutely aware of my dependency on your grace. I lean into your mercy, understanding that in my weakness, your strength is made perfect. Uphold me, dear Lord, when the journey of refining my speech becomes challenging. Let your grace be the anchor that steadies my resolve. May the words that flow from my mouth be seasoned with grace, carrying the fragrance of your love and the wisdom of your word. Use my speech as an instrument of your peace, a vessel of your healing, and a proclamation of your eternal truth. I surrender my words, my thoughts, and my intentions to the sovereignty of your divine authority. Set a watch on my mouth, O Lord, that every syllable may be a fragrant offering before you. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Nay. Father, I place before you the sincere request to quicken and awaken my conscience. In moments where I may falter or inadvertently speak words of death, I trust your Holy Spirit to alert me immediately. Strengthen my resolve to renounce those words, turning away from any darkness that may seek entry into my heart. Teach me, O Lord, to replace those moments with your truth, allowing your light to dispel any shadows. I implore you to set a watch on my mouth, not merely as a form of self-discipline, but as a divine orchestration for your glory. May every word that escapes my lips be a testament to your majesty, a reflection of your love and an expression of ceaseless praise. Use me, Father, as a creative force on this earth, a vessel through which heaven's beauty is released into the world. Thank you, Abba Father, for your unwavering love, boundless grace and transformative power in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. Almighty and gracious Father, as I come into your divine presence, I am profoundly aware of the significance of my words in shaping the tapestry of my life and the lives of those around me. I approach your throne with humility, recognizing that the tongue holds the power of life and death. In light of this, I earnestly implore you, Lord, to set a watch on my mouth. In the ebb and flow of daily interactions, I am mindful of the delicate nature of communication. My heart's desire is to be a conduit of your love, grace, and wisdom in every conversation. I acknowledge that, left to my own devices, my words may fall short of glorifying you. Thus, I entrust the governance of my speech to your unfailing wisdom. O oh Lord, Stand as a sentinel over my words, allowing only that which aligns with your truth and love to pass through. Cloak me with your spirit, that I may speak with kindness, compassion, and the discernment that comes only from walking in step with you. May the essence of my conversations mirror your character 
becoming a testimony to your boundless grace. Grant me, Heavenly Father, the discernment to recognize when my words may deviate from your perfect will. In those moments, let your Holy Spirit gently guide me back to the path of righteousness. I surrender my impulses, my desires for self-expression, and my inclination towards haste to your refining hand. As I make this earnest request, I am acutely aware of my dependency on your grace. I lean into your mercy, understanding that in my weakness, your strength is made perfect. Uphold me, dear Lord, when the journey of refining my speech becomes challenging. Let your grace be the anchor that steadies my resolve. May the words that flow from my mouth be seasoned with grace, carrying the fragrance of your love and the wisdom of your word. Use my speech as an instrument of your peace, a vessel of your healing, and a proclamation of your eternal truth. I surrender my words, my thoughts, and my intentions to the sovereignty of your divine authority. Set a watch on my mouth, O Lord, that every syllable may be a fragrant offering before you. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.